surrounding myself to the divine, His Excellency, Justice, yes, Abdul Majid, Honorable Governor of Andhra Pradesh, the Honorable Chief Justice, A.S. Bopanandi, Judge of the Supreme Court of India, Honorable Srimati Justice, B.P. Nagarapnandi, Judge of the Supreme Court of India, Honorable Chief Justice, Arvind Kumar, Judge of the Supreme Court of India, Court of India, Honorable C. Justice Prasanna Vivalli, Chief Justice of the High Court of Karnataka, Honorable C. Justice D. Narendra, Judge of the High Court of Karnataka, Honorable Judges of the High Court, former Judges of the High Court of Karnataka, Learned Judicial Officers, Brother Trustees, Chairperson of the Governing Council, Honorable Justice C. Gururajan, Member of the Governing Council, C. Justice M.K. Patil, Governing Council Member of the Sisters of the Institutions, Head of Institutions, and Members of the Participation Law Colleges. Article Members, Guests, and Students. This is a very important year for us. This function will be a validity function. The most important things that have, have happened, the first was the Diamond Jubilee celebration which we celebrated, 60 years of its existence of the Rama Institute of Technology. Secondly, the same year, we have, we have celebrated the centenary celebration of the founder of this institution, my beloved father. And thirdly, this is the law college, it's in existence for 25 years, we are celebrating Silver Jubilee. Having said this, sir, Governor of the Justice, I like to place on the floor the beginning how we started in a very brief manner. It was 1962. Then the Chief Minister, C. Nizindapaji, who was a great statesman, he invited my father and told him. What are you doing with your money? He asked. He fumbled and did not give a direct answer, but he said, Sir, I want money, but I'm trying to purchase some lands. What lands? Go and start the engineering college. That was the first dictum given by C. Living Apache. Next three months, Another incident happened. Another, the finance minister of Karnataka, a good friend of my father, they met in a religious function in his home, and after the religious function, he called him aside, said, let's sit down, you have helped us, we would like to help you. Now we have taken a decision, the cabinet, that we are going to remove the prohibition. They are going to allow the watering plant and the first thing they are going to give to you, please accept it, you are a good friend of ours. Immediately, my father said, he was a bit hesitant, sir, can, we, can you suggest something else? I would like to take it. He said, Mr. Ramaya, Please be aware, the money is in liquor and you are going to see liquor as money. Please take it and go forward. He said, sir, still my promises doesn't permit me. Can you suggest me something else? So I said, okay, fine, I'll let you know. So the, there were two 
areas in which people are born. Fortunately, he said, I will take up starting of the engineering college. I would not try to take much time. Sixty years have passed. Now I'd like to go in the present, where we are. Today we are 27 institutions in the same campus, one campus. And out of these 27 institutions, six of them have been in NRL ranking, National Framework of Government of India. So we are in the path of excellence. This is our dream. To make this dream a path of excellence. Our future, next five years, we are planning to see that at least next four to five institutions come under the ranking of NIRF. And that's not all. In next five years time, we would like to be graded either in the Times or the QS ranking in the world. We are praying God that so today this is the Swadhyay function. Your Excellencies, your Judges, Judges, let me tell you sir, you are kept in the highest esteem. You are the givers of justice. In our, in our culture, you are placed, justice is placed next to God, or you are equal to God. What else we can get more than? You are presently here, blessing us. Now I would like you to see whether we have done our part, please better. If there is still something to be done, please give us a day out and ask us what strength to go forward. And if there is anything wrong, please correct us. We are open to all your advice. You are the people who can give us advice. I don't think anybody else in today's we can we can have it. Sir, I am now 90, I was born in 1946. The coming 60, 75 years of my life. This 55 years, I've gone through the four stages of my life. One is the spirituality, next is the politics, third is economics, and the fourth is the social. All these four stages I've gone through. I'd like to say today the institution of justice has been, has survived these 75 years and it has been given the highest position, given by the people who have faith and trust in the judiciary. This is the only institution that I've seen, which has given the trust and faith. My pronouns to you all, as a citizen of this country, senior citizen of this country. As I said, there is nothing beyond you. Now you are the witnesses today for the future. There are 2,000 young students here who are looking forward and you have given the wonderful pathway. There is nothing better pathway that you can do to our young generation. You are the light of our country. So, I would like to tell the young students that your new world is emerging. There is destruction and there is going to be creation. You are going to see that disruption taking place. What you need is the blessings of their fathers. Please 
set the blessings for you to go forward. Like, I like to tell you, when this when deception takes place, when creation starts, the new world order will be coming soon. People of wisdom, the watery, are seeing that change is taking place. I'm seeing this new emerging new world, the new justice, or the new way in which justice has been taught, are who are the people who are going to do it? And what is that going to be? The nature and the human man. Both of them coming together to form the new justice, which is the ultimate, is equal to the highest law. That is the law of nature. That is what you are going to create. That's what you are going to make this world a better place to live, harmonious place to live. All the living organisms living together. That is the new world. And you, the giver of this justice, which has to come from India, you are the people who are going to the leaders. I am not going to be there to see you. My, your fathers are not going to be there to see you. But all the blessings are with you, my young generation. You have to take this. Take that with vigor, with passion, and see that justice is ultimately given to every human being in this world. So, this is what I say, the culmination, the value function, the culmination of the present and the future. This is something very important. And Rama institutions have been a witness to this, making you to come together. That this is what we honestly feel, and we have served our brother. And I'm going to ask you and to you, all the people who are viewers of justice. This validity function, the culmination of all that is good. And that has happened because you are present. Thank you very much, sir. I pronounce to all of you, I am feeling excellent of Andhra Pradesh. Who else can we expect? Who has got love for us? That love is enough for us. Open with him, your son will soon depart. And I'm sure that you are happy. And your happiness is our happiness. Madam, you are no, no better person. You are, you are the light of the, all the women folk. You are the leader of this. And you are. Definitely for something which adorable people are looking very, very carefully the way in which you have given that. Sir, so, Justice Arvind Kumarji, you are part of us also as students in the past. You had our, we had a lot of discussions and we, we have so much love for you. You have given us so much of inputs. For us. So, with this wonderful time that we have, wonderful relationship that we have, the relationship is going to be continued forever and ever. The Chief Justice of Kandarika and the Chief Justice, so we thank you all and thank wonderful all of you and God bless all of you. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the Honourable Chairman has given us a comprehensive overview of the success story of uh, uh, Ramaya Group of Institutions and at the same time has given us an insight.